Hello hobbyists, welcome back again to Hacker World. We want to demonstrate to you another use of this Hacker World 1 transistor FM transmitter. Let's go right away into it. Now we have a new circuit diagram, just a slight modification from the one you saw right there on the screen. And the modifications are just simple, just three modifications. First of all, we are using 5 volts here. This 5 volts is coming from a USB um, circuit. Uh, this is a USB audio adapter that we got from eBay for around $2.57. And uh, that voltage is coming here. So for that, we've changed the biasing resistor here to 10 kilo ohms from 2.2 kilo ohms. Now, the other change you can notice is that we have a 0.33 microfarad here. This will isolate the DC conditions of this circuit, this box here, and the circuit diagram. And we also uh, couple the AC signal from this circuit to this. That's it. Every other thing remains pretty much the same. A um, few component values changed, but that's no major, no major change. No, no component here is critical. Make sure that you have a transistor here that can handle the frequency of operation. We are working between 88 megahertz and 108 megahertz. So make sure that your transistor can handle that. Other than that, no other component here is very critical. Okay, so we've built the circuit already, so we'll just go directly into the demonstration. That's the circuit here. We have we use here 2 and 2, 2, 2, 2. And we use the same um, variable capacitor we used in the original one transistor FM transmitter. This is just ordinary telephone wire that we used, and that's the new introduction 0.33 uh, microfarad. And this is our antenna. But the design is up to you, just just made a little coil over there, but it's not critical again. Um, the rest of the components are right there, so um, we chose small component size, except the ones we couldn't find, but we tried to choose very small component size. We got them from off an old circuit board that were. Um, we pulled from an old uh, electronic circuit, so we chose these components, the capacitors and the resistors. Again, nothing is very critical here. So we finish this, and what do you want to do? We want to play sound from the computer. This is a USB audio adapter, so what it does is, when you plug it to the computer, it picks the sound and then trans transforms the sound um, to, to USB uh, to this uh, he headset output and then you can also connect your microphone here to um, speak into the system or to record into the system if you want now what what we've done is we tapped ignore this paper here this is just for isolation or for insulation um, we tap the 5 volts from pin 5 of this uh, USB and then we tap the audio signal this orange wire is for the audio signal we tapped it from the headset jack right there and then the black wire is the ground and when we tapped it from the ground of the USB connector of the uh, headset connector obviously it's coming from the USB here so that's all then we just put this paper to separate um, the, the connections from our very board from the PCB right there so this is the circuit. Now what we want to do, we want to play music from the computer. So we have a few songs that we can play. Um, so we have um, some songs here. Let's go to the, to the uh, library. Okay, we have some songs here lined up. And we're just going to pick one song. Um, let's, let's play Brother Abraham. Okay. So what what we wanna do is play this sound from the computer. We wanna take this sound from the computer and transmit it to our radio set. And we have a couple of radios in the house, and we're gonna play the music without making it loud at at one point, but making everybody have access to the music if they want. Now, what we do is we're gonna plug. First of all, we're gonna plug. This is our new Hacker World USB FM transmitter into our um, USB port right here. Now when we do that, uh, we're going to check um, the frequency of operation uh, because we want to know what we're going to tune to when we turn the radio on. So we have this little 
counter frequency counter uh, it's a mini counter so when we connect the, the antenna to the antenna of our circuit we can see we are right around um, 100 and 100.1 or 101 um, megahertz so that's what we're going to tune when we go to the radio so let's play the music and then we'll go to the radio and see we have a couple of radios in the house now that that blinking light tells you that the sound is the the, the sound is coming from the radio from the computer if i pause it if i if i stop the music the the, sound, the light will stop but that light shows you that there's music coming from the computer so let's go in um, and try it in one of the radios okay let's start with this analog radio right over here Okay, let's try the boss system right over there. Um, remember the frequency is around 100 megahertz. So let's try here. See. Yes, I'm posterous and um, we'll hear from you and if you have questions we can help you answer it. Alright, thanks, bye.